Hello everybody, welcome to VegaTrends. My name is Mackenzie and as always I'm here making sure you eat your vegetables. Well, and enjoy it. This week we've been talking about peas and I hope you'll stay tuned today because I'm making up a great salad that I found. It's called Roasted Cauliflower and Sweet Potato Salad and I'm very excited. I hope you'll stay tuned. making up a recipe that my mom found online. It's a roasted cauliflower and sweet potato salad, which I'm very excited about. It has a curry dressing, and I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of curry. So before I get busy making this salad, let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. So for the dressing, you're gonna need uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice. That's usually about one lemon. Sometimes you might need a little bit more. I'm gonna use three quarters of a tablespoon of fresh ginger. Then we're going to do three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric. I have one and a half teaspoons of curry powder here. I have about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper here. Also for this recipe, you're gonna need three tablespoons of tahini and tahini is like a butter from sesame seeds. If you've never had it, it's really great. I really like using it. And then two tablespoons of water approximately. You might need a little more or less of that. For the recipe itself, we're gonna need a half a cup of cilantro, one cup of thawed peas, one cup of green onion, a half a cup of dried cranberries. You're gonna need one head of cauliflower. Then the recipe called for one sweet potato. But I went to the grocery store and found a variety of sweet potatoes and I can never turn down variety. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up all three varieties into this salad. There was a white variety, this beautiful purple variety, which I'm very excited about, and then of course your standard orange variety. I'm a huge fan of sweet potato and getting these different colors into the salad gives you a lot of different antioxidants. Anytime you're able to use your vegetables that are dark and rich in color is a great opportunity to add antioxidants to your diet. All right, let's get started putting this salad together. One feature of this salad that most salads you make up won't have is time in the oven. So we're going to put in all of the sweet potatoes and cauliflower into a large baking dish like this. Now, I had some olive oil on the bottom of it to keep the vegetables from sticking in the oven. So I'm gonna get these all flattened out in the pan. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees and these are gonna go in for about a half hour. After about 15 minutes, you'll wanna get in there and stir them up, mix them up, make sure that they're, heat, they're heating evenly through. So let's get these in the oven. Okay, so while my cauliflower and sweet potato cook down in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the dressing. So we're gonna need three tablespoons of tahini. Tahini is just ground up sesame seeds. If you've never used it, it's great. Sometimes I even make my husband's sandwiches with tahini and uh, like a jam or a jelly. He really likes it. All right, so three tablespoons of tahini. Then we have three quarters of a tablespoon of ginger, which some people find ginger pretty strong. I love it. And then three quarters of a teaspoon of un uh, garlic powder three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric. I've got a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and then one and a half teaspoons of curry right here. We're gonna put in two tablespoons of water and then last but not least, I need to juice this lemon. Okay, so I have about a tablespoon of lemon juice here. It's just the juice from one lemon. And then we're gonna stir this all together. Oh, yum, I love curry. All right, so I have this all stirred up. 
It smells really good and we're going to give it a taste just to see if we like it. Ooh, that's good. That's going to be really good with the sweet sweetness of the sweet potatoes and the sweetness of the peas. Mm, and it's got a nice kick to it. I'm very excited to give this a try. Well, all we have to do now is wait for that to come out of the oven. So the roasted cauliflower and sweet potato were in the oven for about 30 minutes and look how amazing they look. I've been just waiting and dying to try this purple sweet potato. So here we go. Oh, that is so sweet. That is so good. Mm. It's got a little tougher texture than the other sweet potatoes, but it's a lot sweeter. Mm. These are perfect. All right, before I eat all the ingredients, let's get to making our salad. So I've allowed this dish to cool now for about 20 minutes so it's not super hot when it goes into the salad. But now we have to get it into this pan or this bowl. I believe the rule is any ingredients that fall on the countertop are to be eaten. Now that this is in the bowl, it's time to add in the rest of the ingredients. So of course this week's ingredient of the week is this, the peas. Then we're going to add in this cup of onions. And then a little extra sweetness. These are the dried cranberries, about a half a cup. We have a half a cup of cilantro. And last but not least, in goes the dressing. All right, we're going to put this mixture right over the salad. All the ingredients are now in the bowl. We're gonna mix this up. All right, so all the ingredients are now mixed up and I'm gonna tell you right now, this is probably one of the best smelling salads I have ever made. The smell of that curry and it's a very warm salad because the vegetables are still warm. It just has, it's just very welcoming. So we're gonna give it a try here dish myself up a little bowl. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. This salad has so many different flavors hitting your tongue. It's incredible. Mm. It's sweet, it's spicy, it has curry in it, it has those cranberries, oh. Mm. Such a great combination of flavors. If I don't stop eating, I'm never going to finish the video. One thing that I may have done different with this salad is to add another cup of peas because really I think the peas are underrepresented in this salad. But overall, the dressing is just enough to coat everything, isn't overwhelming in the salad. The sweetness from the sweet potatoes and the cranberries, I, there is just a lot going on here and incredible flavor. So I hope you will give this salad a try because I think it's definitely worth it. And it's very non-traditional, meaning it's still warm out of the oven. What a great dish to bring the next time you go to a potluck. I hope you'll give it a try. Again, my name is Mackenzie and this is Vegetrends. We still have one more recipe coming up this week. That is our creamy broccoli and pea soup, which I've had before and I already know is phenomenal. I hope you'll check back for that video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.